Hey, what's going on guys? This is Everything Joe Broken, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best lock screen tweaks, and these will all be compatible with the newest iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. So let's get right into it, guys. Uh, the first tweak that I want to show you is one called Lock HTML4. I'm sure you guys have heard about this one, and what it allows you to do is place uh, different widgets on your lock screen. So I'll just take you into the settings for Lock HTML show you what uh, all you can do so once you install it just make sure it's enabled and then in search widget this is where it shows you all the different widgets that you, that you have installed from Cydia and then there's also a ton of different things you can hide on the lock screen like the CC grabber notification grabber camera uh, stuff like that and you can really just mess around with all these settings and figure out what makes your theme of your lock screen look the best um, but all I have right now installed is Weather and Lock Plus, which brings me into my next tweak that I want to show you guys. It's called Lock Plus for Lock HTML. Make sure you get this one and not just the Lock Plus tweak. Um, but in the settings for Lock Plus, just show you guys this real quick. Uh, make sure you have menu enabled so that you can see the different uh, themes that they've already made. And um, But once you find that theme that you really like, then you can enable this and then that men menu won't pop up when you swipe left on the lock screen. But there's a lot of different uh, settings that you'll just have to look at in this and uh, figure out what you want to change. But I'll just take you back into the lock screen and show you what theme I'm currently using. Uh, so when you're on the lock screen, all you got to do for lock plus is swipe left on the lock screen and this theme right here will pop up. And then if you tap view themes down here on the very bottom, uh, it'll show you all the different pre-made themes that are with this so a ton of really cool ones but uh and there's a ton of them yeah 141 pages so multiply that by nine and that's how many different pre-made themes there are to choose from and they come with the background so i think mine was on 112 yeah on the top middle here that's the theme i'm using uh, i'll just show you how to get the theme all you have to do is tap on it and it'll download i'll do this one right here just to show you guys, might take a minute. Oh wow, yeah, that looks pretty good. And so it comes with uh, widgets already. Um, but the cool thing about this tweak is you can go to the settings and make it to where uh, you disable the wallpaper. And so what this does right here. What this does is if you have a background or a wallpaper that you want to use and you don't want to use the wallpaper that they've chosen in the pre-made theme, then uh, you can enable this right here and it will uh, only pull the widgets out onto your lock screen that you want or the wallpaper that you want. And it won't pull out the uh, already chosen wallpaper. So that's pretty cool if uh, you already have... Um, a wallpaper that you know you want to use. Um, another cool thing about this tweak, uh, you can go on their website and you can design your own. That's not really my thing. I'm not very good at that. So I've just chosen the ones that they've already used here. But uh, let's get into my next tweak that I want to show you guys, which is one called Lock Glyph. And Lock glyph, this is what's giving me this Avengers uh, symbol down here. And when you get lock glyph and you have it enabled um, and you t touch the touch ID with your fingerprint like that, it'll show that cool little design there and that check and bring you into your device. And in the lock glyph settings, you're just going to make sure you, that it's enabled and a few different things you can change. The unlock sound, you can enable that. Then the vibrate and shake fingerprint when it fails to recognize your fingerprint. And then in the appearance, this is where all your themes go. Uh, so if you want the exact one I, I am using, the Avengers one, uh, you're going to have to go into Cydia and install Marvel Lock Glyph Pack. And it comes with all these different ones, the Captain America, Deadpool, Spider-Man, and X-Men, uh, which all look really good. But since I'm using an Iron Man theme, uh, I decided to go with the Avengers symbol. And then you can change the color. So right now I had it set to the color of Iron Man's eyes. 
but you can choose whatever colors you want for the idle color and the scanning when it's scanning your fingerprint that little design it does uh, you can choose what color you want for that too um, and then the last thing I want to show you guys is fingerprint position and this is you're gonna have to be able to do this if you get this next tweak that I'm gonna show you guys which is a tweak called Jelly Lock Unified. Let me just show you guys real quick what this looks like first. Uh, this is this, if you just touch this white circle down here at the bottom, uh, all these different apps pop up, and these are just so that you can go right into a certain app, so apps that you use the most, and ones that you'd like to go right into. So I have City over here, Messages, Clash of Clans, YouTube, and Safari. And so if I just wanted to go right into my Messages, I'll just let go right there, and put in my touch ID and it would take me right into my messages just like that uh, very useful tweak but in the settings for uh, jelly lock a few different things you can change about the appearance uh, the grabber size which you're gonna have to mess with if you want to get uh, that lock glyph like I have right in the middle uh, of the grabber and then you can change the ring color uh, enable or disable the, to blur the background. I have it disabled right now just because I think it looks a lot better. But uh, then if you go into app shortcuts, so slot one, this is where I had Cydia, and slot two is where I had messages, I believe. Yeah, so you just go down uh, three, four, and five, and it goes clockwise around that little half circle of the tweak. So that's about it for this tweak. Uh, a few different things you can change, but... Um, very useful. I encourage you guys to get Jelly Lock Unified of the uh, Lock Glyph. Um, once you first get it, it's not going to be matched up exactly with uh, Jelly Lock Unified like mine is right now. So, uh, what you're going to have to do is go into the settings for Lock Glyph and go, oops, go to go to Appearance and Position. And you're going to have to enable custom portrait Y. And then, I don't know if it's going to be the same for you guys, but I have an iPhone 6 Plus, And I just typed in the number 652. I had to mess with it a lot to get it positioned exactly how I wanted it to. But I found that 652 put it right in the middle of uh, my Jelly Lock Unified grabber. And then you just have to go to Jelly Lock Unified and mess with... Uh, the grabber size just to fit it exactly around uh, the lock glyph. So you guys will just have to mess with that and get it just how you like it. Um, a few different things I want to show you on my lock screen. And by the way, if you want to see exactly everything else that I'm using on my home screen and different tweaks that I'm using, um, then just check out my first video that I made. Uh, and I'll give you the link in the description for Let that. Let me just show you guys two last things that I did on my lock screen. Uh, the first being when you swipe left into the lock screen itself, you'll notice that my background does not get blurred out like it usually would. And this is thanks to a tweak called Calypso 2. And I just think that this looks a whole lot better, a lot more clean, and you can still see that sweet Iron Man background. Uh, but if we go into the settings for Calypso 2, all you got to do is go into Springboard, hit Lock Screen, and then right there, enable no lock screen blur if you want that effect when swiping into your uh, lock screen. But then the very last thing that I did on my lock screen was hit the status bar just because it looks a whole lot more clean. And you really don't need it since you got the time and the date right there already in that widget. And I did this with a tweet called Hide Me X. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Like always, like if you like the video, subscribe for more jailbreak related videos in the future. This is everything Joe Broken signing out. Peace.